Welcome back to school. We appreciate you working hard through these difficult times. Before you start work again, it is important that we take some time to remind you of some of the precautions you need to take to ensure you stay safe and in good health. It is always the case that we need to operate at a high standard in everything we do in order to provide the level of care our students need. During these unprecedented times, it is vital that we are more vigilant than ever and more determined to provide the level of care needed to the best of our abilities. Here are some key reminders that we need to observe in the weeks ahead. As you will have heard, it is recommended that we maintain a distance of not less than two metres to reduce the risk of the coronavirus spreading. But this can be difficult in the classroom setting, especially if our students may not understand why social interactions should be limited. With this in mind, we should do whatever we can to limit unnecessary or needless contact with students. This may mean reducing the amount of hugs we give and look for ways to replace them with something else, with waves or air high fives for example. Of course we should try our best to maintain two metres distance whenever we can. If people were to give us a hug, we should wash our hands afterwards. Remember, if you take these precautions, you are greatly reducing the risk to others, including your family members, the families of our students, and others who could be vulnerable. It is also so important that we remember to keep ourselves clean by washing our hands regularly and thoroughly, especially after contact with others. This should be with soap and water for around 20 seconds, washing the front and back of the hand, in between the fingers and around the fingernails. It is expected that you will need to wash your hands much more regularly during this period, so please ensure you do so whenever you need to. The need to keep clean in the workplace is always important, especially if we're carrying out intimate care. The transfer of bodily fluids can easily transmit infection and bacteria from one person to another, so now, more than ever, we should take all the necessary steps to prevent this from happening. This involves making sure we wear the correct Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE, which include a face mask, a plastic gown to prevent contamination of your clothing, and gloves to keep your hands clean. And remember, if this equipment is left lying around or is reused, it can remain a hazard from cross-contamination so it is really important to quickly and carefully dispose of it after use. High standards of housekeeping and cleaning are more essential than ever, and we can all play our part in making sure hard surfaces, including desks, tables and chairs, are wiped down quickly and effectively following use to avoid bacteria remaining on them. We should also clean equipment that is used occasionally including play equipment, toys and games and these should be wiped down thoroughly with a sanitizer to ensure they are clean and safe for the next user. We also need to remain alert to other key health and safety issues throughout this period including ensuring fire exits remain accessible, corridors and access routes remain clear and we maintain tidy classrooms. There are several practical steps you can take to make things easier in the classroom in this restricted period. One of those is to plan carefully how many pupils are in each class and wherever possible keep class sizes to a minimum or at least think about how the amount of space will be available. Also, wherever possible, activities could be planned outside in the playground where well, not only is distance easier to maintain everyone gets a good dose of fresh air.
One of the most effective ways of ensuring we remain safe and healthy is to be alert to anything that may increase the risk. This may include your own health. If you experience symptoms, talk to your line manager quickly and self-isolate if required. We should also be alert to others who may be displaying symptoms, especially if they are unable to communicate they may be feeling unwell. We will need to be alert to these matters for some time and must not hesitate to act if we have concerns. It is likely that precautions to reduce the spread of COVID-19 will remain in place for the foreseeable future. Throughout this period, it is vital that we maintain a heightened state of awareness about the risks and do not become complacent. It's also important that we pay attention when new instructions, either from the government, the local authority or the school, are received. In summary, we want to do everything we can to keep you, our staff and our students, healthy and safe throughout this restricted period. But more than ever, this means working together as a team and making sure we play our part in highlighting and dealing with potential problems quickly and effectively. Remember, if you have any questions about any of the precautions, you can talk to any member of the management team or your line manager at any time. Thank you for your ongoing hard work in these challenging times.